Okay. Last video of the day, we're going to call it a night. So we've undone all of the uh, couplings for the brakes. Uh, the, that's it for you. You've got the, uh, yeah, that's the handbrake cable. So that's free now, so when the axle rotates, that should be okay. And the same on the other side. Okay, and what we've done is we've ground down here. If it shows it, because the light's in the way a bit. But this thing here, where are we at? We're not even showing you it, are we? This thing here, I've ground it down. Let's do it from this angle there. <coughs> you see, so that the bit that's on there isn't going to get in the way. Same on the other side. Let's show you, because it's going to be easier to see from here. <coughs> um, no, it isn't. So you can see there's a, there's like a bit sticking up here, but it's all cut off down there. So that it, when I rotate the axle round, so that the differential coupling is pointing upwards, it will be able to fasten onto the spring now. The only problem is we've got this nut here, which is in the way. Uh, on the other side, you can see probably easier from here. Okay, so we've got to work out what we're going to do with that but I think it's just a case of removing it because all that's doing I think is just simply holding the spring leaves together which the u-bolts will do anyway so that'll be fine okay so the only remaining thing now is to just simply sort out this brake cable I think what I'm going to do is I'll just go through that with the angle grinder not today and then take it off there and then we'll basically just simply twist the pipe round because it'll go and then that means that we can then rotate it up and we'll start the brake fastened. We'll forget the uh, shockers for now so that we can get it attached. We've got a solution for the fact that we're going to be mounting a motor which is going to be onto the chassis and we're going to be connecting it to this, the, uh, the axle, which is going to be moving. It's going to be on the spring, on the suspension. So we've got a little bit of a, an is issue with that so we've got a solution for that and I think That'll do. But we have got our floor out, and now we've just simply got to deal with that. That still hasn't been cut out, and I'll do that probably some. Once I've got the axle pointing upwards, I'll do that last, I think. Yeah. But it's looking good. We're nearly there. We just need to rotate it around, and then we need a coupling for the motor, and then we can do it. Which is what I intended this van for in the first place. Get the milk float motor on it. And then once we get that working, and we can see it travelling around on that, we can then switch it out for the uh, Prius motor. Get a bit more power behind it. Probably a bit more control. So we're going to call it a day there. <laughs>